All right, this video was too long last time, so I want to do it in a bit of a hurry this time. Um, I looked up nine of some of the most popular feminist YouTubers and uh, wanted to see what happened when I typed in uh, Muslim, Islam, and Saudi Arabia into searches on their videos. Here's Amy uh, Poehler's Smart Girls. Um, uh, slam poet Amy Poehler's uh, Girls of the World uh, wants to help stop discrimination. You know that's not going to go anywhere with that. Islam, same thing. And Saudi Arabia, this channel has no content that matches Saudi Arabia. Next, Ariel Scarella. You look up Muslim. Nash Greer is homophobic and on un un the unforgiving gay community, and lesbians explain how two girls fall in love. Uh, no. Islam, sex toys for kids and reasons to hate gays and lesbians. Uh, no. Saudi Arabia, this channel has no content that matched Saudi Arabia. Uh, Marina, shut up. Um, you look up Muslim. There's a video how rape culture has evolved throughout history. Well, uh, she doesn't really include uh, the Middle East. She doesn't really include the Muslim world. It's mainly the history of what things are like in the uh, in the states and the history of Christianity. She mentions the Bible, so no real mention about that. Um, why? Uh, why it's racist to be colorblind, how Rolling Stone helped rape victims everywhere, 12 things not to say to depressed people. Okay, uh, nothing there. Islam, an open letter to uh, uh, Sh uh, Shalene uh, uh, Woodley about feminism, what is culture appropriation, uh, police brutality or race issue, um, you want to hit this, Emma Stone play an Asian character, um, uh, yeah, there's, there's nothing there. And Saudi Arabia, this channel has no content. Okay, feminist frequency, Muslim, no content. Islam, no content. And Saudi, no content. Of course. Okay. Uh, Lacey Green, Muslim. I love foreskin, draw my life, prostitution equals crime, cut or uncut, you can't pop your cherry, and dress code sexism. Oh, yes, that really has to do with feminism in regards to the Middle East, or Muslims, or Islam. Uh, now we've got Islam. It's Draw My Life, I Love Foreskin, The Truth About Pulling Out, Jenna Marble Slut Edition, Depression, Is Racism Over Yet? How Do I College? She Asked For It, Does Sex Make You Lose? Sex Positive, Period, Hating, and Men in Femininity. So, nothing there, of course, because Lacey Green is a superficial little something or other that I won't say. Uh, Saudi, you can't pop your cherry and why I'm a feminist. Now, the, the, her video, Why I'm a Feminist, has some mention of some things. Uh, from about 3.48 to around four minutes. She mentions, uh, uh, she quickly mentions a few things. I can at least give her credit for that, but this is the only time that she mentions anything about those subjects. So, on to Cheskalai, if that's the right way to pronounce her, her name. Uh, instant response team on lives with Meredith Vieira. Shit white girls say to black girls, 10 things I don't understand about the Zimmerman verdict. verdict. America's top 10 vloggle and YouTube is my life. Islam, YouTube is my life. And Saudi Arabia, Saudi, just the word Saudi, this channel contains no content. Now, someone that really impressed me was Rebecca Watson um, on, on this sort of test that I'm doing here. Um, first off, she has a number of videos talking about uh, just problems with Islam in general, problems with Islamists, uh, things that a number of atheists talk about in regards to Islam, you know, Draw Muhammad Day, um, you know, a, a whole number of things. Okay. 
Now we'll go to uh, Islam. And here's one. She talks boobs, burkas, Belgium, and BS. You know, uh... There was another one here. Uh, a Saudi historian. Women shouldn't drive because they'll be raped. You know, she's willing to talk about this shit. My respect went up for her as far as is this sort of thing. She she actually is willing to talk about some of the other subjects than just all this superficial shit like Lacey Green, you know? And now we've got Saudi. Um, you know, more. There's that video again. What women shouldn't drive because they'll be raped. Uh, Saudi's attack. Uh, you know, uh, uh, freedom of religion. Uh, you know, she she she's willing to talk about this stuff. You know, she gets a thumbs up as far as this subject. She passes these tests. Zinnia Jones. Um. She's willing to talk about uh, subjects in regards to uh, Muhammad, the the Quran. Um, she goes into a number of these things. Uh, I don't know how much exactly she goes into how uh, it how it relates to feminism, but she's at least willing to talk about Islam and the Muslim world. And uh, so here's more, uh, uh, you know, Islam, a video about Islam. Uh, uh, you know, she's willing to go into this. Let's try, um, oh, I didn't try, uh, Saudi with her. Let's try, let's try that. Saudi. Yeah, yeah, more, uh, more, more stuff on it. So, uh, you know, she passes the test as well. Varmint Coyote. Okay, Varmint Coyote is... No war with Iran. Um, yeah, nothing there in regards to feminism or even anything outside of... Uh, uh, I think it's all about uh, don't say bad things about Islam. And uh, Islam, let's see. The Atheist Challenge, Ridiculing the Religious... Uh, does religion actually exist? Uh, yeah. Let's go to Saudi. Um, a, a video about a uh, 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 coronavirus and uh, screaming at the internet. And so, you know, I just kind of wanted to show that there are people who you know, there are the rare, well-known YouTubers. We've got Rebecca Watson and Zinnia Jones, who are willing to speak against what's happening in the Middle East. Speak against what Islam says about women. You know, willing to, to do that sort of thing. Okay, but... Uh, uh, one of the people I have the least respect for as far as feminists, and I don't really have that much respect for feminism, but someone who just really turns into the shit is Lacey Green. Um, so, take whatever you want out of this video. Um, this isn't some big endorsement of feminism, but it is showing that, you know, a lot of feminists do not talk about the, the the subject of the Middle East or Islam and how it how it you know looks at women, but there are some that do. And for those of you who have wondered this sort of thing, who maybe uh, you know never spent the time to do this, hey, I just did it, and you know you can see some of the results. You might want to try doing this on a number of other feminists' uh, channels and see what the results are. Thanks so much.